He shot his way in. So let's say there had been an armed ex-policeman, even ex-military in there. Very skilled and very brave. But what if he was on the other side of the school? Who could he have saved? Well, two classrooms were shot up. Maybe half the number of people would have been dead. Something. You could have had something going on. Or maybe this cowardly piece of garbage wouldn't have done it if he knew there was a guy there with a gun who would have blown his head off. You know, this is a very interesting phenomenon. You look at the left who will keep a mass murderer alive on death row saying there should be no death penalty for 40 years, 50 years. Now they're pretending they care about the children. They don't really care about the children on the left. They want to just seize your guns. They want to take away your Second Amendment today, your First Amendment tomorrow, your Third Amendment the next day, the Fourth Amendment the next day. The only amendment they would keep is the right to smoke marijuana and the right to use drugs and perhaps a few other rights that they uh, cherish because it uh, allows them to have the license in their lives that they, that they wish to have. But we don't have to go that far today. Should violence in films be limited? Of course. It's a given.